the newest Canik on the market, the TP9 SFL. And actually, to start out with, it has all these stickers on the side of it. I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not. Um, I, I don't know what they're for, but it says like, <laughs> remove before firing. It's like, I don't know, it's like those tags that come on your, uh, come on your pillows and stuff like that. Only these ones, like it actually has an arrow there denoting the direction the bullets go. I, I don't know, the Turks, what are you gonna say, right? Um, I'm gonna pull those off. Um, like I said, this is the newest Canik that's available, the TP9 SFL. And I'm assuming that stands for long slide, but uh, we're actually gonna spend a lot more time to uh, shooting this gun today than talking about it because we've kinda already done a video on this gun before. Uh, it looks very similar to the TP9 SFX, which is down here. Um, in fact, it is almost completely identical other than this gun, uh, the TP9 SFL, does not have the optics ready cuts on it. It's so similar, in fact, that it even comes, and I don't know if they'll all come this way, but maybe this is an early production model. It even came in a TP9 SFX case. So there you go. Anyway, we're gonna get this gun into the hands of all the guys and have a good time playing with the TP9 SFL. The TP9 SFL is basically a featured down TP9 SFX. It maintains the same long slide geometry, but eliminates features like the optics ready plates and the extended magazine release. It still maintains the standard 18 round flush fit magazine and will accept the extended TP9 SFX plus two base plate magazines. Uh-oh, Mr. Tactical Bacon is here, and uh, she didn't lock back for you, dude. Yeah, fat thumb. Fat thumb? So that's the TP9 SFL. What do you think, boss? It's great. For yeah. an auto. Yeah. Did you, were you here for the, uh, the SFX review? I do not believe so. No? No? So that's your first uh, experience with the long slide variants, huh? Yeah. I, um... I have seen and handled the SFS or er, X SFX X X. Um, my general impressions from handling both guns is this is the trimmed down, more practical version. Doesn't have the the little thing with the thing or the stuff. Right. It's just I'd, a no nonsense long slide. Yeah, I do believe it comes in a lower price point too, which is. You know, if if you're not a competition shooter, you're not you don't care about that other stuff anyway. So, well, even if you are a competition shooter, and you're not shooting in some weird open class where you can have a an optic, then this is probably a better buy. They really brighten up that little chamber indicator in the back. Uh 
Uh oh. We have a malfunction. I'm gonna take this for you for a second. So what we've got here is our first malfunction. I mean, 500 rounds easy on this gun at this point in time. Yeah. I mean, dude, probably 500 rounds today, actually. I mean, that ammo can was full when we started. So, um, I, again, we don't know how many rounds are on it. Over 500 rounds um, without cleaning. And there is a piece of Fiocchi that is trying to come out of the breach there. Didn't quite make it. And that next round is not a piece of Fiocchi because... Give me a piece. Give me a piece of ammo. You'll notice... The way this looks right so it looks to me like maybe we got some somebody contaminated our ammunition supply with some off the shelf type stuff i don't know what's going on here but we're just going to clear it the aberrant round went in we'll see what happens okay and it all it all went. So, do you have the head stamp on that? Freedom munitions. Is it a freedom round? So it's probably a hush round, but it wasn't. Uh, it it didn't cause. It wasn't the source of the malfunction though, because it was the next round in the stack. Poly Wonder Gun. What are you gonna say? So somewhere around 500 rounds, one hiccup. Okay, so that's what we got. And Spangrish is back. What is that? The... That is the Canik TP9 SFL. Yeah, you were just talking about one in SFX, so we're going to see uh, see how you like this one. We're making dreams come true today. Yeah, and the only way to properly test this gun would be a VSO running gun. So, you get to lead off there, good sir, and I'll wrap her up. So... <laughs> No pressure. No pressure, right? Okay. So, do your thing. Shooter ready. Fight! Hit. Miss. Got him. Left. Wrong target. <laughs> Wrong target. Over there. Over there. Yeah. Hit him. Shoot Screwed him. Up. He's shooting at you. Got him. Once. Got him. Move Ooh. on. It's a good thing those are 18 round magazines. <laughs> it is a good thing. Right! Got him. Got him. Reload. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hostage target. Right side. Miss. Got him. Miss. Miss. Got him. Dump it. I don't know, Mr. Spangrish. That was a pretty good run. Uh, except I hit the wrong target. But you Well, know. hey, you gave him some extra love. He was still a threat, right? <laughs> this would really matter. Yeah, he was down, though. Yeah, yeah. All right, dude. So, you wanted the SFX. Would you settle for an SFL? I would. Yeah. <laughs> I would. It's, uh... I had a TP9 SA. I actually got rid of it. I regretted that decision ever since. And why did you do that for? Well, I got a really good trade out of it, so. Oh, okay. Right. It was okay, but uh, I'm gonna own one of these. Yeah. 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 I mean, I'm not a great shot, obviously, but. Uh, no, you did pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, that's only like your your fourth ever running gun. So yeah. I mean, like, we'll we'll cut you some slack, there, big guy. <laughs> well, good. But um, all right. So you said you were not a fan of the uh, of the. What did you call it? The gay gray? Or yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. So the black is more your style? I, I definitely like the black and the slide. The profile is so thin and I actually have with me, I've got a Glock 17L and you can check it out. Oh yeah. Yeah. Definitely different. Definitely a clear difference there. So yeah. The yeah. geometry is much different too. So, I mean, it's like, it's more of a rounded kind of gun. Yeah. So it probably purchases your hand a little bit better. Yeah. So. And there's something, there's something about the, the grip and the grip angle that just feels better on this gun. Oh yeah. Well, it's not that swooped yeah. glocking, <laughs> you know, so that's the. It's fantastic. Yeah. Cool. Well, the guns seem to lock open fine for you. No problems. Um, we have had a few issues with that. We have some fat thumbs in the house um, that tend to ride that release. So it clearly works fine uh, for him. We'll see if it repeats for me. So That's I am else. going to um, take my gun back. We started out and it was really cold. And uh, I mean, it was like 30 degrees. I have to take that out. I know that y'all yeah, are looking, well, looking at that. Oh but. my goodness, what do you have there? Yeah, so uh, we have an apparel line over at Forge from Freedom. So if anybody wants a VSO shirt, either a logoed piece of apparel or a uh, one of the custom designs that we made or maybe one of the designs that we pulled over for somebody else, um, forgefromfreedom.com. I have a link in the description box down below. A portion of the proceeds go to support the channel if you use the affiliate link in the description box below. So without further ado, I am going to close out the video on the TP9 SFL. And I'm gonna start out a little bit farther away than Spangers there, <laughs> right? Just to make Shooter it ready. Yep. Fire. On a, uneven ground as well. My new cameraman catch up. You good? <laughs> right. Left. Left target. Oh, I don't know, man. They both <laughs> moved. I think I might have clipped him. We'll have to inspect that one afterwards. My confidence is shattered. <laughs> Started to walk off there at the end. All right, let's go look. Ah, oh. shucks! Right there. That's mine. Oh no. Yep, that was totally me. What are you gonna say, man? He's dead. What are you going to say? I mean, it's a good thing that it happened on the training range and not in real life. That is our look at the TP9 SFL. This thing was extremely fun. Uh, as you can tell, we shot a ton of ammo through this thing. Well over 1,500 rounds through this gun uh, before today. Uh, this thing ran, I mean, pretty much flawlessly. We had one malfunction that I can recollect uh, in this gun. I will check the footage to make sure there weren't more but I'm pretty sure that there was just a singular malfunction. Now, guys, I just recently went in and completely revamped the Patreon site, trying to add some more value for, for you guys. We're trying to get this thing completely off of the YouTube teat so that we can be beholden only to our audience. We would really like your help and would appreciate your support in that endeavor. Uh, links in the description for the Patreon page. Uh, and remember, next summer sometime, somebody's gonna win a trip, all expense paid, here.